Hey folks, hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to write the task queue application as seen in the Programming for Musicians C++ for Musicians course. It's this guy right here. We're going to learn how to write this thing. When you reach the end of this tutorial, you will have a fully functional multi-window juice application. You will learn how to use a lot of useful parts of the juice framework, including the following classes, value tree, document window, component, tree view, tree view item, graphics, toggle button, label, path, file, async updater, and timer. You will also learn a ton of best application programming practices, including file saving and loading, defining chains of events triggered by GUI elements, managing application state, developing a multi-window application, developing custom graphics from scratch, writing algorithms to process data structures, animating GUI components, and finding and fixing user-reported bugs. Now for this course, the only prerequisite is that you already know a fair amount of C++14 or C++17, and that you also know how to create a Juice GUI application in Projuicer. This course will be difficult, but not impossible if you do not already know how to do those things. This course is an ideal next step after completing PFM C++ for musicians. Basically, when you get to the end of this uh, Spectrum Analyzer 2 and discussion about temporaries video, uh, this is the perfect next step for that because it's going to reinforce everything that you learned uh, prior to the course. And it's a nice step before you dig into doing actual audio development. It's going to reinforce all the C++ stuff that you learned. So let's begin. We have a lot of code to write. <laughs> 